Hi, I'm Ryan, and today I'm going to show you how to make homemade lemon hard candy. Let's start with the ingredients. We've got sugar, corn syrup, citric acid, lemon extract, and a little bit of yellow food coloring, or whatever color you want. Uh, the trick to making this candy is to combine the sugar, the syrup, and some water. Heat that up to around 305 degrees Fahrenheit, at which point, as it cools down, it will crystallize into the hard candy. Once we heat this up, as it's cooling down, we're going to add the citric acid, flavor, and color, and then pour it into a mold. For my mold, I use these silicone Lego brick molds, because they're the only ones that I have. Uh, I like these because the silicone lets you just pop the candy right out. But if you don't have that, that's okay. Uh, you can take a baking tray, uh, grease that up with cooking oil, and then pour the candy onto that, then just break it up into small pieces. So start out by getting a large pot like you see here, and two-thirds of a cup of sugar. Just pour that into the pot. Next item is three tablespoons of corn syrup. Finally, add three tablespoons of water. Then just give it a stir so that it's all mixed together. Now in a smaller bowl, add one tablespoon of citric acid. and one tablespoon of lemon extract. Now, the sugar and the corn syrup are what gives the candy its sweetness, but for that tart lemon taste, you're gonna need the sourness of the citric acid and the flavor of the lemon extract. Now, if you wanna add dyes for different color candy, uh, you can add those here. I'm using the yellow dye from earlier. Just add a few drops. Next, just stir them all together so that they're nice and mixed in. Now put your pot on the stove. Be sure you have a thermometer because you're going to want to check the temperature constantly. Have your molds nearby uh, just so that you can pour it easier. I'm using the silicone Lego brick molds from earlier. Now just turn on the heat and you can see the temperature is going to start to rise pretty quickly. So now you can see it's at boiling. Uh, once it gets to around 225 to 26 degrees, it'll stay there for some time as all the water boils away. Once that's done, you're left with a thick sugary syrup. Once the candy gets to around 305 degrees, uh, we're going to want to turn off the heat. Uh, you can do this basically anywhere between 305 to 310 degrees. Uh, but once that's done, uh, we should let it cool down for a bit. So once it's gotten to around 250 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, you're going to want to work pretty quickly because it's going to be cooling down. First thing to do is remove the thermometer because we're going to need to stir it and get a spoon uh, like the kind that I have here. Then get your bowl of citric acid and lemon extract because we're going to need to mix that into the sugar syrup that we have here. Pour it in slowly and stir all the while uh, because once you've poured it in uh, the mixture is going to start cooling down very fast uh, so you're going to want to stir the whole time to make sure that it ends up nice and blended
So now I'm going to pour the mixture into the mold. It's okay if you get a little on the sides. Uh, you can scrape that off later. And it's also okay if there's a lot of bubbles in it, uh, like we have here, because those bubbles are going to be mostly smoothed out once the candy cools down and hardens. So after a few hours, the candy should be hard and colder, and you should be able to just pop it out of the mold. Uh, if it's not hard enough, uh, then you can put it in the fridge for a few hours, and it should cool down a lot more there. So now you know how to make hard candy. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to go the extra mile where you really just hate sugar in your candy, you can replace the sugar in the corn syrup with this chemical called isomalt. Uh, you can get this on Amazon or at certain specialty stores, uh, but there are just a few differences, such as you have to heat the mixture to about 330 degrees instead of 305, as well as it's only half as sweet as sugar, so you might need another sweetener such as stevia or saccharin or another one uh, to make up for that.